Fight. Yo, what's going on, guys? Random Comic here. I got another class setup vid for you guys, and you guys requested the FAMAS, which I thought was kind of strange. I thought it would have been a different gun that's kind of hard to use that people aren't familiar with, but you guys, a lot of messages was like, man, what's a good class for the FAMAS? And I was like, pretty much any setup. I mean, just don't put uh, infrared on it, and you'll be good, pretty much. <laughs> like, I, Also, with ACOG, I don't recommend putting that on, but honestly, if I talk about the FAMAS for a little bit too much, I apologize, but... FAMAS is probably, if not the best, the number one gun in the game, and everybody complains about 74 U's and shit, but if I was to nerf one gun, it would probably either be the FAMAS or G11, just because that shit is just ridiculous. I mean, like, G11 is a whole nother thing to talk about, but that shit is, like, the f it's like the M16 on steroids, it's like mostly one-shot kills. It's, it's my favorite gun, but... I can tell that it's it's crazy overpowered. My kid eats like a three or a four with it. That's how crazy it is. <laughs> but here I'm using the FAMAS and I can tell you guys my setup. I'm using a FAMAS with dual mag. If you guys were to use it, I recommend, you know, either extended mags or dual mags. Depending on your connection, if you you know don't have very good connection, sometimes extended mags is a must. Like your bolts aren't gonna register that much, so you need a huge clip. So I would recommend that and my class setup was hardline, harden, and ninja. That's actually an experimental perk setup. If I was to use a uh, FAMAS, it would be like either like Scavenger or Hardline, depending on if I was, you know, if I have run dual mag with it or not. If I'm experimenting with it, you know, I won't run dual mag. So I'll run Scavenger and, you know, Warlord, try out different class setup. And I'm using Harden because you can see the area that I like to hang out is around in these huts over here. So Harden is kind of just a little you know, thing I put on to make sure that my bullets actually penetrate deeper. That almost turned into that's what she said. I tried to avoid it. <laughs> but, you know, you know, it, it, pretty much any setup, red dot, if you must use a red dot, put that on it if you want. Can't go wrong, just don't be an idiot and run around, you know, with an infrared scope, or something like that. <laughs> Nobody, you're not going to do well with that, but if you're the type of guy that likes to, you know, challenge yourself, it's honestly something good, and... Sorry I didn't mention the kill streaks, but they were uh, counter spy playing Blackbird and Chopper. I think I already got all my kill streaks, so it's not that important actually. Because I kind of apologize for this video. Um, I usually for these class setup videos, I usually try to get gameplay that shows a lot of kills with the gun. And this Chopper Gunner is actually a very very good Chopper Gunner. I was watching it back and I was like, man, I get like 20 something kills with this Chopper Gunner, and uh, they never even try to shoot me down. I know all the other guys probably light up Twitter like, Oh, David Vondahar, my frickin' chopper gunners get shot down in a split second. But you don't show them these chopper gunners where they get 20, 30 kills and you're loving it. <laughs> you just complain about the ones where they're shot down in a split second, which is... I understand it's frustrating if you have an entire night where you're trying to earn kill streaks and the one time you do earn the kill streak, you might get one kill with it and a guy who goes pro shoots it down, but... There's situations like this where it's like, man, the Chopper Gunner is OP like shit. <laughs> I mean, shooting this thing down is pretty simple if you have at least one guy with Ghost Pro, but... But in the early stages of the game, this is pretty relatively early still. I mean, they busted out a shitload of patches and all this other stuff, but honestly, it's almost at its final stages of patching. I think the only thing that they might change is they might do some more tweaks to Second Chance. They might do some 74U tweaking. Honestly, the the one thing I was hoping they were going to do in a patch was nerf the 74U down to 20 bullets a clip, so extended mags would be 30, which basically makes it people must run extended mags with it or they're going to only have 20 in a clip, which, I mean, every Call of Duty, they've always, you know, tried to be accustomed to the customer service, and there's the, this death was bullshit to me, I thought, <laughs> but... You know, they're accustomed to they're trying to be the best they can, but at the same time, they have to develop a game that a lot of people can play, and, you know, it's friendly to all types of players, good and bad players, and they have to give that one gun that, uh, you know, is just super easy to use. That's what the 74U is. It's the easiest gun to use. You put rapid fire on it. <laughs> Look at this guy. I have to mention that. Ballistic knife kill. Gotta give him props for that. You could tell I watched that kill cam. I was like, that asshole. I can't believe you got me. <laughs> but the gameplay is pretty much wrapping up. And, uh, oh yeah, the one thing, 74U is fine in my opinion, but rapid fire is the one thing. Everybody complains about the grip. They patch the grip. Rapid fire is what I have an issue with. It becomes instant death up close. But, uh, 
I think I went like 31 and 2 in this video. It's not that bad, but it's not that good at the same time to me. I really would have wish I kind of could have got more gun skill in this, but thanks for watching anyway, guys. And uh, I hope you guys have a good day or night, depending on when you're watching this. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.